Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And as Hurricane Milton is barreling toward Florida, toward the Tampa Bay area, toward Central West Florida, uh, Kamala Harris is once again trying to make a political move here by stating that DeSantis refused to take her call. And it's funny because DeSantis came out right afterwards and basically said, yo, this lady is just trying to do it for political reasons. I've never heard from Kamala Harris for the last three and a half years. And I've we've had storms uh, every year and we've never heard from her. She's the one trying to make it political. Well, it turns out Joe Biden comes down, backs up Ron DeSantis. You know, there is bad blood between Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. There is uh, scuff ups that are happening in the White House right now between the two parties, Biden and Harris, because of Harris swooping in and forcing Biden out by by, of course, uh, getting all the Democrat players to pressure Biden to step out of the race and hand over the nomination, which she did not earn, to go ahead and try to become the first DEI president. And so, of course, Joe Biden comes on record here saying, no, nah. <laughs> just got off the phone with Ron. Ron said, hey, we're in great communications with whatever we need or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what Kamala's talking about. So <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at this because it's uh, quite hilarious. Yeah, this is coming from the Trump War Room over on Twitter. It says, Kamala yesterday accused Governor DeSantis of playing political games with the incoming hurricane in Florida. Today, Biden said that DeSantis has been cooperative and is doing a great job. The West Wing appears to be on two completely different wavelengths. Let's take a listen to this first clip here from uh, Harris being asked about it. Governor DeSantis, NBC is reporting Governor DeSantis is ignoring your calls on hurricanes resources and, and help how does that hurt the situation here you know moments of crisis if, if nothing else should really be the moment that anyone who calls themselves a leader says they're going to put politics aside and put the people first people are in desperate need of support right now and playing political games with this moment in these crisis situations these are the height of emergency situations it's just utterly irresponsible and it is selfish and it is about political gamesmanship instead of doing the job that you took an oath to do which is to put the people first Wow, she just she just does word salad, just spews out of her mouth. She is a terrible speaker when it comes uh, to those quick uh, gaggles that they have right there where she doesn't have a teleprompter in front of her. Uh, she does a terrible job at speaking on the fly, and it shows in just on that clip there. So we turn over to Biden here uh, and give get his take on the whole thing. The governor of Florida has been cooperative. He said he's gotten all that he needs. I talked to him again yesterday, and I and I said, whatever. I said, no, you're doing a great job. It's being all being done well. We thank you for it. And I literally gave my personal phone number to call. Um, so I don't know. There was a rough start in some places, but every governor, every governor from Florida to North Carolina has been fully cooperative and supportive and acknowledge what this team is doing. And they're doing an incredible job. But we got a lot more to do. Yeah, Harris is going around trying to play president, obviously, because she was successful in forcing Biden to step to the side. Uh, during this nomination process for the Democrat nomination. Um, and so she's going around trying to play po uh, president and nobody's buying it. Everybody understands that she's a dim-witted individual who is only in that position because of the color of her skin and what's between her legs or there of nothing in between her legs, right? She is a diversity hire at the highest order. And this is who uh, wants to become president of the United States. And you can see right through it. You can see how dumb she actually is when it comes to matters that actually matter in this nation. And that she is just a clone of what a Democrat party wants. So uh, yeah, uh, if, if DeSantis didn't take her phone call, it's probably for good reason. He knew that she was playing politics and he was already in coordination with obviously President Biden there, uh, as Biden says, yeah, we've been communications. It's been great. He's doing a great job, and of course, uh, and of course, we know the battle that is happening within that White House because of the two different parties. Jill Biden does not like Kamala whatsoever, and she understands that she just undermined it, Joe Biden, 
during this process. Um, and she doesn't like it what's whatsoever. And so they're going to do whatever they can. This is not the first time now since this uh, since Kamala has been running for president that Biden has done something to undermine her campaign. Remember earlier uh, last week, he did the same thing. She had a campaign stop. All the news uh, stations were covering it. And he decided to go ahead and wandered into the press uh, briefing room. And everybody cut away from the campaign trail from Kamala Harris to focus in what uh, Biden was going to say or their lack of what Biden was going to say. Um, and and spent like the entire campaign uh, or the time that Kamala was on campaign they spent it with Joe. So Joe knows what he's doing or people around Joe knows what he's doing. They're sending him out to sit there and sabotage Kamala Harris. And she's not doing great in the internal polling. Uh, you can see the desperation uh, in her campaign and the way they're going to, as they continue to try to um, win this election. And I don't believe it's going to be close whatsoever, but that doesn't mean we stop um, uh, getting ready, right? We go out there and we do what we need to do. We vote. We're not going to stay home, vote early, um, and make sure you get uh, vote You know when you're able to and do what you need to do because that's the most important thing in this upcoming election uh, that you can do to make sure that we can elect President Donald J. Trump another term. Anyway, you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Have a great, great day.